Have you heard of one Humpty Dumpty? How he fell with a roll and a rumble and curled up like Lord Oliver Crumble by the butt of the magazine wall, of the magazine wall, hump, helmet and all. He was one time our king of the castle. Now he's kicked about like a rotten old parsnip. And from Green Street he'll be sent by order of his worship to the penal jail of Mountjoy. To the jail of Mountjoy, jail him and joy. He was f -f 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 father of all schemes for to bother us. Slow coaches and immaculate contraceptives for the populace. Mare's milk for the sick, seven dry Sundays a week. Open air love and religions reform. And religious reform, hideous in form. Hara, why says you, couldn't he manage it? I'll go bail my fine dairyman, darling, like the bumping bull of the Cassidy's. All your butter is in your horns. His butter is in his horns. Butter is horns. Lava, frosty, frosty, hosty, change that shirt on ye. Rhyme the ran, the king of all rans. Balbucho, balbacho. We had char, char, chops, chairs, chewing gum, the chicken pox, and china chambers. Universally provided by this soft soaping salesman. Small wonder he'll cheat Erewhon. Our local lads nicknamed him when Chimpton first took the floor with his bucket stop store down bargain way glore. So snug he was in his hotel premises sumptuous, but soon we'll bonfire all his trash tricks and trumpery, and he's short till Sheriff Clancy will be winding up his unlimited company with a bailiff's bomb at the door. Bim bam at the door, then he'll bomb no more. Sweet bad luck on the waves washed to our island, the hooker of that hammerfast Viking, and Gaul's curse on the day when Ablana Bay saw his black and tan man o' war, saw his man o' war on the harbor bar. Where from? Rose, Poolbe, cooking halfpence, he balls, Donawa, skimpittle, wick and wipe in fampany. Bingle Mac Oscar, on his side, bar, Jars Boniface. Vox mine gamel hole nor v gickers moniker, August A. R. at gamel hor near vickers cod. A Norwegian camel old cod. He is, be God. Lift it, hosty, lift it, ye devil. Up with the ran, the rhyming ran. It was during some fresh water garden pumping, or according to the nursing mirror while admiring the monkeys, that our heavyweight heathen Humphrey made bold a maid to woo. Woo hoo, what'll she do? The general lost her maiden loo. He ought to blush for himself, the old hay-headed philosopher, for to go and shove himself that way on top of her. Begob is the crooks of the catalogue of our antediluvial zoo. Messrs. Billy Gun Coo, Noah's larks, good as new. He was jolting by Wellington's monument, a rotarious hippopotamus, when some bugger let down the back trap of the omnibus, and he caught his death of fusiliers with his rent in the rears, give him six years. Tis sore pity for his innocent poor children, but look out for his missus legitimate. When that fru gets a grip of old earwicker, won't there be earwigs on the green? Big earwigs on the green, the largest ever you've seen. Sophocles, Shakespeare, Pseudo Dante, and the night Moses. Then we'll have a free trade gales band and mass meeting for to sod the brave son of Scandinavia, and we'll bury him down in Oxman's town, along with the devil and Danes, with the deaf and dumb Danes, and all their remains. And not all the king's men nor his horses will resurrect his corpus, for there's no true spell in Connaught or Hell that's able to raise a cane.